Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series. Facilitated by renowned educators, ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. And that you don't have the, the downside breakout. When you have the downside breakout just there, the downside breakout of price on price confirm our, our, our bearish signal on, on the RSI. So when you have the downside breakout of price, you can, you can enter a short position because you break below the, the, the price break below, break below the, the, the rising trend line, and the indicators have broken below its, its rising trend line. So you have a confirmation with the indicator. Uh, there we have, you have a confirmation with the RSI that the price will go, will go lower. So if you, if you take a look just for the price, you have the downside breakout, and you can say, uh, yes, I enter a short position right right now, and I don't see indicators. But sometimes, you, you, maybe it's fast breakout. But with the downside breakout with the R, on the RSI, the likelihood for fast breakout is is less important. So the confidence when you enter a short position just there is more important because you have the signal. You have also the signal on the RSI. A bit complicated to explain you in English for me, but I, I hope I am clear. Another point, very interesting, that I mentioned earlier. Sorry, I have difficulties to. Okay, is divergence. Divergence is really, really, really useful, but. There are, there are conditions to, 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 for having divergence, and uh, divergence have um, uh, an important defini definition. A divergence happens when the price hits new extremes, but not the indicator. I mean, you have a second peak on price higher than that is the first one, but on the indicator, uh, it says that it's the RSI. The, the, on the indicator, the second peak is lower than the first one. But the condition is for the RSI, for example, is the RSI is, o, is overbought. Okay. By definition, the RSI is overbought when when he, when he, he trades above 70, the 70 area. So imagine that the 70 area is just there, OK? So the second peak on the price go higher. The RSI, the second peak on the RSI is lower than the first one. And the RSI, when during the second peak on price, is over both, we have a bearish divergence. So indicates that, the, like for the, sorry, like for, like for Chartism, uh, on, uh, on indicator of what we, we saw just, uh, just before, when you have the bearish divergence, it's not a selling signal. You have to, 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 you have to see the confirmation on price. But this, this divergence uh, means the momentum is more, the bullish momentum is less important. So you have to focus on price. So there we have, okay, the bullish trend, uh, bullish trend line on price, and the divergence appears before the downside breakout of, on, on price. So. You have the bearish divergence just before the downside breakout. So when you see the bearish divergence during the first, the second peak on price, 
you have an indication that uh, something uh, something will happen. So you you have to wait the confirmation on price, and when you have the confirmation of the downside record on price, you have also the the indication and the confirmation of the RSI. So you can enter the short position with a stronger confidence because you have uh, not only the downside break on the price, but also you have a bearish divergence on the RSI. So to sum up on technical analysis, just uh, before uh, uh, just before our live demo from my desktop, uh, technical analysis is a decision-making tool. Provide buy and sell signal signals and trading ideas. It's complementary to fundamental analysis and new sources. I mean, you have to keep in mind calendar, for example, in order to, to avoid a position just before an important economic data. Makes, makes sense. Price reflects all information available on the market. It's a, it's a, it's a postulate uh, we, we saw in, uh, in, the, in the first slide. May predict future movement before relevant new come, come out, but uh, when, I, when, I, when I said uh, just before, you have to keep in mind calendar. And technical analysis allows to take advantage of up and down markets. So that's it for basis on technical analysis at Trading Central. Uh, I hope you, we, we, we be, will be more precise in, during the next uh, webinar. So right now, I want to, 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 to share my desktop with uh, technical analysis software in order to generate uh, forecast on ISC pairs for coming weeks. So. This is my desktop and my software for technical analysis. And uh, we will start by uh, euro dollar, uh, dollar uh, US dollar against the euro. The ticker code is uh, is uh, EUU. Okay. Zero, you're shown as EUI. EUI, sorry. So it's the USD against against the euro. Sorry. So what we can see on this chart. Um, The pair was trading within the bearish trend line, just there. I drew the, the bearish uh, channel, sorry. So I draw the bearish channel just there. Okay. The pair has broken above the upper boundary of, the, of this bearish channel. So we can say that the outlook on the USD against the euro has turned bullish after this upside breakout. You can see also on the RSI that the second low was higher than the first one. Okay, So mean that the downward momentum was less important when we are just there. Okay, it's not it's not a bullish divergence because the RSI size came back above 50, so you can you can we can say that was a, be, a bullish divergence, but we can say that the, the downward momentum on the RSI size and uh, on indicators was uh, less important. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.